Donald Driver is one like so many others that have played for HBCU and moved on to go play in the NFL, the NBA, or MLB, whichever professional sport that, that it was that they were able to continue on to keep playing at, have been able to come back and give to someone else to make sure that they're able to continue to keep moving their programs forward. Understand, Donald Driver played for Alcorn State University. Trust me, he understands the humble beginnings that he's come from to where he is right now. And understanding that that passion, desire, grit, that want, that drive, and that necessity, that need for him to get to where he was looking to go made him work even harder just so that he's able to do what he's going to do right now for another HBCU in this very moment. Guys, when I tell you right now, he's on the cutting edge of doing something so phenomenal, you're going to sit there and say, Dad, how many more people can come back and help and do the same thing? We're going to talk about it right after this. You know it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, I'm about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in the friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's not the positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on in this thing. Because I'm like, Coach, what you got going on? Donald Driver's doing what? Wait a minute, he played for Alcorn State University. That's right. He got down over there at Alcorn State. He played there three seasons. We're going to talk about what exactly he's getting ready to do right now for a university that's going to blow your mind. But check this. When Donald Driver was at Alcorn State University from 1996 to 1988, under Coach Jones and Coach Thomas, that bright light didn't turn on until his third season, in which he was under Coach Jones during that time, in which the wheels really got to turn and where he was able to really break through and become that guy out there on the field. Understand that his third year at Alcorn State University, he caught 55 passes for 1,128 yards and 10 touchdowns in that final season. Now, Donald Driver's career stats at Alcorn State University, he caught 88 passes for 1,993 yards, averaging 19.6 yards per carry excuse me, per catch, not to mention he led her in track and field as well. Thinking back to how some of those training tables were back then, going to HBCU, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you, Coach, about to tell his age just a little bit. I, I was at an HBCU back in them 90s. Don't tell nobody. But yeah, I'm just saying, thinking back to, thinking back to those days, to how things are now, based on the training tables, um, you know, the meal, you know, the meal preps and all of those things that was put together for the athletes to come through at that time. I mean, things things were a lot different back then than they are now. And I'm sure Donald Driver remembered those times, those harsh realities sometimes where the things that were needed for people to be successful, they weren't there. They had to find ways to make do themselves to continue to keep themselves going to get out there on that field and compete at a high level for them to be afforded the opportunities to play in the NFL, i.e. Uh, Steve McNair, i.e. Donald Driver, who came, both of those young men came from Alcorn State University. And I'm just saying, looking at what Donald Driver was able to do being drafted in the 1999 NFL draft to the Green Bay Packers, in which he had a historical career, and looking back to give to an HBCU program will allow them to have the wellness and sports performance program. If you didn't know, Donald Driver has a program called Driver Elite, which is in Dallas as well as in Milwaukee. According to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, being able to put together a program beneficial to the avid person who goes to the gym every day and now collegiate athletes will be something to see. Thinking back to many of the conversations that we've had in the past where we've seen uh, some of the HBCUs, they didn't have trainers, you know, within the program to make sure that the athletes were being looked after, you know, when they had bumps and bruises, aches and pains, to make sure that they were able to get back out there on the field and compete at a high level or better yet, if they shouldn't be allowed to go back out on the field and participate because the injury may have been so severe that they need to get additional treatment. Seeing that these things are now being put in place and with what Donald Driver is doing over at Delaware State University is something that you have to really key in and take a look at. Donald Driver's Driver Elite Program will provide Delaware State 19 men's and women's sports programs, sports-specific, excuse me, sports performance, 
and wellness programs. The program would not only provide strength and conditioning, but also provide nutrition and mental health wellness as well. Mental health wellness is something that we've talked about several times in many of the interviews that you've seen me do, where I ask athletes, how do they prepare themselves mentally for the season? As well as how do they prepare themselves mentally in case, you know, an injury may come about and it's something that they need to really sit down and assess what's going on. There's so much that's happening right now in these athletes' lives where they have to have someone or someone is definitely needed to be available to sit down and have conversations with them as far as what can they do to really recenter themselves when it comes to situations that have them off-centered so far where they may be considering doing something out of the un out of the unordinary, i.e. walking away from the sport or better yet, doing something that may possibly harm themselves. This is something that is definitely monumental that's going to happen at Delaware State University as far as this program coming in. There. I got to say congratulations to Delaware State and the Director of Athletics, Ms. Alicia Shields Gatson, on being able to secure a partnership with Donald Driver and his Driver Elite program. Congratulations, Donald Driver, who is willing to partner with the HBCU, bringing his cutting edge program to that university that's going to be so well accepted by all those that it will impact. I appreciate you, Donald Driver. Thank you again. Until next time, be the one and lead.